Hey guys, it's Liddy here from LA 3D Printing, and today I'm going to be showing you guys step by step how I make these uh, prosthetic bionic hands. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so again, like I said, I'm going to show you step by step um, how these hands are built. Um, I am actually just, I have all these pieces 3D printed already, and then I'm just going to show you how I put them together and everything. Um, in a little bit more in detail than my last video on these hands where I just did a whole bunch of time lapses. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this, and let's get right started with the tutorial. Alright guys, so we're just going to start off. Um, I do have most of the parts here. Um, but uh, as you can see, these are all different colors. They just have been printed randomly. This is actually um, part uh, printed in uh, IO Robotics green filament, and then this is um, the uh, Strong Hero PLA silver filament, and then this is, I believe, just some uh, white filament that I PLA I got off of uh, eBay. But um, as you can see, this was printed on a raft just to make sure everything is stuck down. And this is printed on my Tebow Flash, um, and that has some very good raft settings, so um, I always know that I can trust it to make sure that they will all come off um, eventually, like my uh, Tebow Tornado usually doesn't come off, the uh, pieces don't really come off easily, so I know I can trust my Flash to print these pieces um, for this hand. So. I'm just going to take all these off and then we can get to assembling the hand. Alright, so we got everything taken care of. Uh, basically the first thing I start off with is just um, adding uh, the knuckle parts and as you can see this one it looks different compared to this one and we know this one is the thumb knuckle. So we just put it on this way. This is the way it goes. So if you, I, you guys can pause the screen if you want. This is what it looks like. And then you take the, I believe it's this pin. This is the thumb knuckle pin. Um, and it just slides in. Make sure you put it in the right side. And it pops in just like that. So now this is connected. Um, and then what I do next is I do the top ones. All of these are the same. The first ones I do are these two because you use um, the longer longer pin, which I guess I didn't print. So I will do um, this one, the third finger, and I use this pin. This is uh, one of the longer, shorter pin, or longer, smaller pins, which goes in here. So that one goes in there. And then we can do the same thing uh, to the other finger. So make sure you got it the right way and then find, I believe it's this one, find the next pin for this um, and then there you go. So we have that two, those two and I guess I need to print the um, longer pin here so I'll go do that and then we can finish using the knuckles. Alright guys, so we're actually going to just um, add the thumb and these fingertips on uh, while the other pieces are printing. Um, so make sure you grab the correct uh, fingertip so this thumb one is a little bit bigger than uh, the other ones and line the hole up and then grab um, the correct pin that you need so again is this one it's a little longer as you can see down here than the normal one that's for those so we grab this and uh, make sure you're putting um, it in the right side so as you can see there's a rectangle here and it'll match up with this so just pop that in there. Everything should fit if you line everything up. And there we go. You should hear it pop. There we go, just like that. So that one's uh, connected in there. And now we can do the same thing to these fingers. So I always start with the inside finger just to make everything easier. So again, we're using uh, these little tiny ones for in here. And uh, this hand is actually scaled up 115%. So um, from 100, it's scaled up 15 more percent. And uh, that's just the size hands I usually print, just to um, get the right size. Um, but, oh, I also forgot that um, there are two different size fingers. So as you can see, this one is shorter. So you want to use the pinky one on the pinky. So make sure you do that correctly, and again, find the right spot to put 
put the pen peg in. I do sometimes put it in this way, which then I have to take out with some pliers. Just push it in there and make sure you hear it click. And there you go. So we have these two. And then again, um, I'll, once the other one is pr done printing, then I'll do this side also. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is put the gullet on. Now, um, as you guys know, if you've printed these out, the gullet prints flat. And what you do is you can use a heat gun or a um, pot of boiling water. But basically, when this is flat, you want to dip it in until this line right here. And once it gets really soft, you basically just um, push it onto the table. Or you can get like a block of wood or something and um, just push it up against it and make sure it only folds on this line because if it doesn't then when you put this part on here it won't slide on there it'll be um, it won't fit and everything so do the same thing to both sides and what I do is I take take a uh, bl uh, heat gun and I heat up these two parts and then f form them right to this so they uh, are straight and um, just line up so there's easier way to bend so uh, the parts we're going to need for this now are um, these bigger bigger pieces here these bigger pins and then the circles for the outside so um, I just put I usually put just to squeeze it I put it right in there um, so it's like stuck in there and I put it against here and just line it up and then push it in a little hard to do this part because it's kind of like balancing it but um, sometimes you might even need to use some players just to get it in there so that it like it like pinches here so it, it'll get smaller and then I just push it in here and it goes all the way again make sure this lines up with the box as you can see there's one there so that it can be pushed all the way through and then put um, the circle over it and push it through. What I do sometimes is I take um, some clamps and just clamp it so this is pushed all the way through so it doesn't uh, rub up against the skin and so it'll be sticking out a little bit more. So I'll do that in a little bit but now we can do the next side. Alright so I got it in there and now I gotta put this in the outside and just push it through. It is again a little hard so sometimes I use the edge of the table um, or uh, again a clamp, just a little clamp to push them through and I'll show you guys what that looks like just like this and it is a little harder to do this because when you're pushing the clamp through uh, right here this hole is where the pin is pushing pushing so um, now you can see it's nice and flush with it and it should not um, hurt the skin when bending the wrist just make sure everything is flush so there's no rubbing out on the skin. So as you can see here, now it rotates and now we basically have a hand, but we're missing these two fingers. So um, I'll get those uh, pieces printed and then we can um, attach the other two fingers. Okay, so once we have all these screws um, like flattened out and shortened because they're too long, because if I would have screwed this in to the hand, it would have um, poked through the other side and, and then it doesn't look good. So we had to shorten those. And now we just have a piece of Velcro, which when I measure this, I fold it in half um, or I just put it in here, make the middle there. And so I can just measure how much um, will be being used. So um, I just take an estimate and then um, again, I put some epoxy in this hole so that we could drill the screw into it instead of going straight through this hole. So now before we drill um, the screw actually into here through this, we need to um, put the screw through the Velcro first. So I just gotta fold it in half um, and make kind of a crease and um, make sure the soft part is up because that's the part that the skin will be on. So now we'll just take the short screw and um, try to center it the best we can and just push as hard as you can with the drill and start drilling a hole. There we go, so as you can see, I got it through um, 
pretty easily. You just got to put some force into it. So make sure when you're drilling, um, you are drilling into something that doesn't matter if it has a hole. So now um, what we want to do is try to line this up the best. And I'm actually going to drill out a little bit so it's kind of flush. And then we'll try line it up to that hole. Hold it down and drill it into the hand. There we go. So I just had to push really hard on it because um, again it is not a point anymore it is uh, rounded off as you can see here um, so you just have to put all your force into it to get it to go into the plastic now the first hole is a little harder because um, that is epoxy that we're drilling into but now that we will be drilling into the plastic it'll be a lot easier and going a lot faster so now we can do that with the other two screws so make sure that everything is flush and just push. And as you can see, that went in a lot easier. Um, and the reason we're doing this is so that when this is Velcroed with the nub, um, when they pull it, it doesn't um, peel off like because we could glue it, but because of the Velcro, it won't stick to it. So we just put three screws in and then we'll cover these up with um, some padding and then um, everything will be good. And screw make sure everything is tight make sure you can get the screws as far as you can down so that they don't have any extra lip that will be um, underneath the padding so as you can see here they are completely secure and when we velcro it here everything will work and um, what you could do is you could actually add another screw here on the side um, just to make things easier but uh, I think the padding will hold it in pretty well so now we can go um, start gluing in the padding with the foam. I also forgot to show you guys um, how to put the elastics in. Now I just have my little uh, drawer full of the elastics and all my um, things I need for this hand. Um, so basically these elastics are just like a dental like brace elastics. You can buy these um, anywhere I think. You can buy them online and stuff but I just collected these from my friends who don't have braces anymore. Um, but they're pretty cheap. So what you do is you just take them and there's these two um, pieces here and you just you just hook it on one side and then pull it to the other like this and then it'll be hooked so you need two for each finger um, one for, for the knuckle part and one for the fingertip part so what I do is I bend it and pull it across to get it to the other side so there we go we have all of the fingers um, connected like that and now we can add the padding Okay, so what you're going to need when you add the padding is you're going to need some epoxy. Now, I use 15-minute epoxy. You can definitely use 5-minute or 10-minute or whatever, um, and then some foam. Now, this is actually thicker than what I usually use. This uh, foam actually came with my airbrush, but I bought a big pack of colorful sheets of foam from Hobby Lobby for about, like, 6 bucks or something. Um, and then you're going to need something to mix the epoxy and stuff with, and some scissors, and then obviously your hand. So you want to basically um, kind of like measure what you're going to need. So I just put it up to this and then mark a spot on my foam. You always want to have a little bit more than you need just so you can cut away later. And then down here I just approximate about right there. And now I can just cut this square out and see how it fits in this. So as you can see, it's a little rough. Um, let's see, I'll flip it this way. It's a little rough to be in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim away some parts and uh, round some edges to make things fit a little easier. I like to round most of the edges. Sometimes you can curve it on the bottom to make it fit this part but as you can see here everything looks good so now we're going to use the epoxy and what I do is I just put a whole bunch on here and dump it in here and spread it around with a um, popsicle stick and then just put this in here and use a couple things to clamp it down so now we can mix up the epoxy so I like to use epoxy but um, some people use super glue and I don't really prefer that just because I know this epoxy will hold you know when your epoxy is going to cure solid when it kind of looks like this opaque white when you're mixing it. Um, that's what I always remember. And sometimes what I do is I put this on the back of the foam 
um, but if I get a lot of it like this, I'll just um, take it in here and wipe it. And you want to make sure you get lots on the Velcro itself and the plastic just so that everything will stick and stay and not pull away when the hand is being used, um, like when the Velcro is being pulled. And the reason why I don't always put the epoxy on this is because when I put it in, it slides and, the, and then it will get all over the um, Velcro. So this is what I do and then I take um, just some clothespins and actually clothespin it to the side so that um, everything just sticks a little easier like this but with like the bigger hands it's a little harder to do that um, but after about five minutes I'll move it up to this part and make sure everything is secure and let this dry and then we do the same exact thing for the bottom here one thing I forgot to mention um, about putting the padding on the bottom here is I like to secure it with um, some popsicle sticks so what I do because it is curved down here as you can see I like to put it on the curve and um, put the popsicle sticks like this and use some rubber bands just so it holds it down just like that so we don't have to use um, other clamps and you want to make sure that you put the velcro on before you actually string everything up or else this part would be actually very hard to do because you wouldn't have the movement of the wrist so again make sure everything is aligned and then put this on and this is basically your clamps for holding it to these um, curves down here and making making sure everything is perfectly aligned and um, there's no gaps. All right, so the next thing to do is um, start stringing the hands. Now, I actually forgot one of the pieces that is supposed to go in here for the actual fingers. Um, so we're just going to do the thumb first, um, first and uh, that would be pretty easy. So you need some string, um, some fishing line. Now this... I'm not sure if I've told you guys in my previous videos, but this is some uh, shark fishing line, and we got this off of an old fishing rod. I'm not sure where you can buy this, um, but I just got off an old shark fishing rod, and it works great for me. But just make sure that you have some super strong um, fishing line, and that's just what I use. So um, when you measure it, you want to make sure that it can reach one length of the hand and then just a little extra. Again, this one is for just the thumb, but then when you uh, measure for the other fingers, you need to go one length and double it because you're going to be wrapping it around and then give it some extra also. Um, but again, we're just going to be doing the thumb right now, so um, let's get started on that. So the first thing to do um, for the thumb is basically just tie a knot um, through this part right here. Uh, and what you do is you just slip it through there make sure it comes out the other side and um, just basically tie a couple knots um, as many as you want just to make sure you know it is going to hold and I use pliers sometimes but um, these needle nose pliers uh, shorter ones have grooves in them so it's a little hard to actually hold on to the um, string but again be careful uh, with this because one time I was pulling with these players because there are grooves it actually slipped and came back to me and hit me in the eye um, so make sure you're wearing eye protection with this also because it can become very dangerous so I'm just going to actually be making three knots just to make sure that it is completely tight and so there we go and now when we feed it through what you want to do is you want to feed it through underneath um, the silver part I have here and uh, my cord is actually bundled in a weird way. So um, you want to feed it through here and it'll come through the bottom part here. Pull it and you can see that it'll bend and then you want to uh, push it down through. You want to push it through um, this hole right here, that one right there, not through the gap because it will go nowhere. So push it through the hole and then you'll see it come up here pull it through make sure everything works you can see when you pull it it closes so now what we want to do is um, before we feed it anywhere else you want to take this part and slide it on okay so I eventually got it on there um, it was a little hard I did have to sand it down um, but this is actually as far as it'll go on there but you want it to freely move in there um, so that you can adjust the tension but now um, we're going to take this string and just uh, actually slide it through this hole and it'll come out this way so just put it in there and that should just pop right out 
So pull that through, and now you're going to get this piece. This is just the one tensioner, and um, string it. And now this is where you figure out the tension you want. So because this is as far as it goes, um, I'm going to put it in there just a little bit, hold that, and try to pull it as tight as I can right now, um, and then uh, tie a knot. Okay, so I got it in there now, and it's kind of a little short than I actually wanted it to be because now, as you can see, when I pull it back a little bit, the wrist will come back, but we're just going to use it for now. Um, I'm going to slide it in there and then take a screw. This is the kind of screws that I use. I'm not sure what they're called, um, but I just found them in my shop. Just find a long enough and um, big enough screw that will fit your holes that you will be drilling into. And I just started off, uh, just start off drilling. Just give it a little head start in there before you put this in there, hold it. What I do is I hold it like this and then screw it in. And then uh, later we can tighten it a little bit more once we have all the other fingers in. But as you can see, there's al already a little bend here and this is what we want it to look like, um, but we don't want too much of a bend. So this is probably good, but this would be too much and that's too less. So about where it is right now. And then I'll show you guys now how to um, do the finger parts. All right, so now with the finger parts, it's a little more complicated. Um, so again, take your string that you have already measured um, and just tie one end. So we're gonna start with the pinky. Um, tie one end onto the pinky part. Again, I do about three knots. And then we're gonna do the same thing as what we did with the thumb. Find the end of the string. We're gonna put it through this channel, pull it all the way through. And then the next channel, you're gonna go through this hole right here. Um, as you can see there, you're not gonna go, you're not gonna wanna go through there. You wanna go to this hole that kinda looks like a D so that it will come through the channel on the other side. So you can see here, pull that all the way through, make sure nothing is tangled. So as you can see, I got some stuff tangled over here. Just make sure nothing is tangled. Make sure it pulls right through like that so it'll close like this. Now we're going to go through the channel and this is the part that's a little different. So once you go through that channel, this is the thing that will be holding the other tensioners um, and it's a little hard to actually do. So what you want to make sure is you have these two pieces here, um, this one and this one. and they hook up kind of like this, and um, you want to make sure that these two holes stay in the front. So what you do, what you're going to have to do eventually is it'll slide in here. There's a channel for it. But for now, uh, while we do this, you want to take that other part off. And um, because this is the pinky part, we didn't start in the middle. You want to, there's, there's four holes on here. You're, for the pinky, you're going to go through this hole, and it's going to want to go through this other hole on the side but try aim it towards the top so you can pull it through. And then when you have this, you're gonna go through this channel here. So the hole right next to it, like this. And this one, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna pull it all the way through and attach it to that finger. But you're gonna uh, want to make sure that you take this part put it through there and then slide it in there a little bit so you know how much to pull and what I like to do is before I actually put this one through the other finger we're gonna do the same exact thing as what we just did with the pinky with the pointer finger and we're gonna pull it through and put it through the exact opposite of the holes and then we're gonna leave these two strings and then what we do is we screw it in the back exactly what we did here and then we can tie these up and make sure everything is nice and tight I know it sounds a little confusing, but it's actually super simple. All right, so I finally got it tied, and now I'm just going to trim the, ed the ends here. And don't trim them too short, because you don't want them to just be uh, pulled apart. And I'll do the thumb also, and there we go. So as you can see, this is at a little bit more of an angle than I want. So I'm going to try push this down farther, um, but if it doesn't let me do that, then I guess this is the angle it'll have to be at or um, it'll just be a little bit curled like this when they're wearing the hand. Um, but this is what it's supposed to look like when you do it. And uh, the final thing we're gonna have to do is just add the um, finger grips. 
as you see here in this one. Um, and that is just printed out of TPU, and I designed them. They kind of look like miniature Lego bricks, but I just super glue them or epoxy them on the fingers, and then everything turned out great. But basically, this hand is fully complete. Now, if you don't have, if it's not super tight for you here, then you can leave it. But what I usually do is I super glue it a little bit. Now, some people don't like that um, because you think you can adjust it, but there is also another piece that people use. It's like kind of like a buckle thing that goes there. But in my opinion, I don't use it. I just super glue it. And um, you just want to make sure everything is tight before you super glue it uh, because then that's final. And as you can see with this wrist bend, it closes. And with those finger grips, um, everything will be more grippy. And so that is basically it for this cool little hand and how to actually build it. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun building this hand and showing you guys in detail how I actually do this. Um, if you have any questions at all, just let me know down in the comments. Um, I will be right there, and I'll try to comment back as fast as I can to answer all your questions. Um, I know it was a little bit harder for me to actually show you guys every single um, detail and stuff on actually how to build this, just because um, I had to hold it in certain um areas and it was just really hard to film but i hope you guys got some more information on these hands and i really do enjoy making them again i have actually started a whole new schedule um for a school project and stuff that i make uh, two hands a month or try and if i can make more um and i might actually make another video on these hands but this time or the next time it would be about arms how to make the arms and stuff how to um, set them up and stuff but um i really hope you guys enjoyed this video Again, if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Also, um, all the links and stuff for this hands, for these hands and uh, the models and stuff will be down in the description. See ya. Bye.